walking. Walking. Basically, it's not about walking. Somewhere out walking, out of it, searching for you. And thank you, thank you very much. Please welcome Julian Clary. <laughs> An audience of 15, <laughs> But all clapping, Exciting. Julian. All Do you like my outfit? That is absolutely gorgeous. It's inspired by one of the Queen Mother's outfits. <laughs> what do you see? And, and you see this bit here, that's just for show. There's no actual access and, there. Oh, right. I'm, well, that's, and I'll make a note of that. Then it's the daytime TV presenter who's fumbled in vain in that <laughs> area. <laughs> not me, I haven't touched it. Could I just say that not everybody could wear that? You obviously have the body to wear that. By only me and the Queen Mother. Well, only you and the Queen. But I mean, you are obviously honed to perfection. Thank you. Are you you're, you're into the exercise sort of routine and stuff, are you? Um, well, I have my own keep fit regime, Judy, which yeah. is called Jerk It Off with Julian. Right, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. And there's lots of, lots of power mincing and buttock clenching. Is there? <laughs> I'm very firm in that department. Well, you'll be, you'll be beating Alan Titchmarsh in the Christmas... Oh, Alan, how well, is He's he? got an exercise videotape out, you know, called, <laughs> called Mr. Rotivator. <laughs> anyway, anyway, I'll, I'll be buying yours. Amazing, <laughs> your new, your new uh, stage show, My Glittering Passage, you took it um, to New Zealand and to Australia this mm. year. What did they make of you over there, Julian? Because they're such a sort of butch and aggressive lot, as Cathy just told us. They are, really. Mm. Um, they're very sort of straightforward, is a nice way of putting it. Um, but I, I quite like them. I like that honesty. I met Craig McLaughlin, which oh. uh, was a highlight, and, and he said, Julian, you're a big spunk. And they, they come out with that That's sort of thing. That's a term of endearment, oh, I think, yes. in Australia, isn't it? Yeah. And I'm, 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 I've got an Australian staying as a guest in my house at the moment. And, uh, he fed the cat the other day and opened a tin and put the tin in the fridge without, we didn't put the lid or no bit of cling film or anything. Oh, no. I it's said, disgusting. well, please. He said, well, I'll let the flies get at it. You know? oh. <laughs> so did you like Australia? It's lovely weather and it's very, very hot. I did like it. I got homesick because I was, I was there an awful long time. But Melbourne was your sort of favorite part, wasn't it? I liked Melbourne, which was sort of very sort of green and leafy. Mm -hmm. And um, there's all kinds of places there. It's huge. Yeah. It's unnecessarily large, in my opinion. <laughs> unnecessarily? Well, yeah. don't, don't you like to wander around? A yes, bit? but there, there's a limit to these things. Yeah. And, and uh, I'm, I'm happy to be home and sort of being oh. very domestic. I've got a little cat now. Have you? Yes, called Gloria. And look, look what she did to me. Savage. She that? Yeah, she's, she's slightly schizophrenic. Oh. And I'm, <laughs> We were, I was cuddling her and stroking her and she was purring and everything was fine and then suddenly she goes on the turn mm. and digs her claws in for no, no reason at all. You had, A you bit like cuddling Alan Tidmarsh, I expect. Really? <laughs> I wouldn't know there, Julian. I have the benefit of, you know. Anyway, um, animals, you, you quite like them because I understand you had a... You, against doctor's advice in Australia, you actually swam with the dolphins. I did go swimming with the dolphins, and um, <laughs> it changed my life, really. Did it? Yes. Um, <laughs> In what way changed? You're trying to feed me a line here, No, aren't no, you? I just wondered, was it a, an emotional sort of spiritual? Everybody says dolphins are very spiritual. Well, I've, I've, these were Australian dolphins. Ah, um, ah. And they're I, butch and macho. I, um, I was actually slipping into the water, um, with the dolphins and the, the, the guy who was looking after them said they've got this wonderful image of being, you know, as intelligent as human beings, but they're, they're actually quite vicious uh, and okay. they've all got scars all over their faces where they go for each other. And uh, you wouldn't want to be a girly dolphin, I believe, swimming around because the, the men all just, the male dolphins just come and, and attack you one after the other and jump on top of you. Like life, so, really. Do you that's, that's, uh, <laughs> Do you had a bit more like you did meet uh, Dame T T yes Dame Kiri to Kanan and Wana Banana Ram. That's the one. <laughs> well, she was um, she was actually living next door to us in mm. um, Sydney, I believe it was, and we'd see her every morning as we went past the window. You could see her there going. Oh. <laughs> 
And you could see me doing something similar in my front window. Yes. <laughs> For an entirely different reason, obviously. Now, part of your... There's a funny smell in here. Oh, I'm sorry. You're not wearing tweed, are you? No, I'm not. No, nowadays I only get Has shot through it. an accident? No, please. <laughs> Julian, part of uh, your act is to work with audiences. How do you feel about the new BBC guidelines that are warning um, sh game show hosts and presenters not to humiliate audiences? Um, well, I, I sort of agree. I think there should be more guidelines as well. I think you shouldn't be condescending. I think mm. a lot of game shows are. But really, um, <coughs> spot on, I don't think you should humiliate people. There's no, there's no point, really. It's not, not terribly amusing. They just queue up to be in the front row of your show, though, don't they? Yes, but I, know, I don't want to humiliate them. I just want to... Have a bit of fun with them. ...chat with them. And, and in, on this video, My Glittering Passage, um, we do a sort of one step on from Sticky Moments. There's a, a game show we invented called Sticky Members. And uh, it involves pulling couples out of the audience. So we have a, a straightforward girl-boy couple, and then we have a gay couple. And... Um, and we play various rounds to see who wins. The gay couple always wins, funnily enough. Mm. But it, um, in my experience, it's not to do with you know, being nasty to them. Mm. You're just, just chatting, really. Well, and the fact that they enjoy it anyway. And it's more interesting. Real, it's real life, real mm. people. It's more interesting than anything that would be scripted. We're going to see you um, on Christmas on Channel 4, which is offering us a gay Christmas. And you're inviting us to your camp Christmas, aren't you? Camp Christmas, yes. I play a lesbian reindeer. Um, I'm just picturing this. Called Whitney. 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 And um, she gets thrown off of Santa's little reindeer group because the, the sound of her nipple rings is. Um, At that moment, I'd too just much. like to say thank you so much, Julian Clary. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.